Good evening. Uh, uh, hello, hello, City Council. Um, my name is Robert Vasquez, and uh, <laughs> my name is Robert Vasquez, and I attended Buttock High School. Um, I brought a I, I brought a fellow classmate today who is just as passionate in making New Brunswick a better place for everyone, and is currently helping me sparking this movement. We come today because we believe that 16 and 17 year olds deserve the right to vote in Board of Education elections. We came here last time to spark the conversation about this very issue. As many, of you, as many of you are aware, students are still struggling. And it's unfortunately, it's unfortunately been like that for a very long time, from the violence to the destructive behavior. And I remember hearing similar issues as a young child. And it, and it upsets me that, that schools like New Brunswick High School are still facing similar issues. I'm not an expert, but empowerment among our youth and residents is among our residents is not as big as we thought. We see that in our voter turnout participation. Last year, we only had 2.8% of voters turn out for the Board of Education elections. That's, 600, that's 630 voters out of the 21,000 eligible voters. This is a current trend that doesn't include the student's voice, the student's input, and the student's concern. Because last time I checked, the age to vote, the age to vote is 18. Even with the voting age being 18, we don't hear many voices of students in City Hall or the Board of Education meetings. Public meetings like Board of Education have been practically empty for a while. And there are many reasons for that. It's not, it's not only the lack of empowerment, but a lack of civic education. We need change. We need a voice. And we want to vote. We want to use that vote to improve our schools and address the issues we face. This reform can do a lot, can, can do a lot for the students of Dubonswick. We see this reform being implemented across the country. Maryland, Maryland was the first to allow their 16-year-olds to vote in the Board of Education elections, and there was an increase of voting turnout thanks to the newly eligible voters. And in other countries like Argentina or Germany, they passed similar reforms that would give students the right to vote in their local elections. I think New Brunswick should be on the side of students and history. It's time that we empower the students because empowering the, school, the schools means we are empowering our great city. Thank you. There are tons of gifted and talented students in New Brunswick who hide their gifts to not stand out. The environment that was created has stopped their peers from being prideful and showcasing their mind and voice. When saying that I'm from New Brunswick, people give us nasty stares or like the city side commentaries because of the stigma around what New Brunswick is, that we are violent and uneducated. And, but in reality, there's more to us than just that. We are smart individuals who have voices and opinions. Um, our school offers a variety of classes ranging from arts to dental classes. We have programs such as Rutgers Future Scholars and added students and added programs to assist students going to college. <coughs> we have an amazing art community, and we just have, in general, just great students. Um, we have so much good and beauty to us, but all this isn't seen in the media. All that is seen are the fights and violence. I take pride in my school, and I know that our community is so much more than what is said about it. Believe it or not, there are students like me who want to change in school, who want their voices to be heard, and who have ideas as to how we can become better. The only issue is no one hears us, no one takes us seriously, and no one has faith in us, all because we are perceived as violent and unreliable. That's why I believe 16 and 17 year olds should be able to vote in school board elections. We have ideas, we have inside knowledge. In fact, we have first-hand experience in how the regulations are functioning. All I ask is to give a chance to the students' voices to be heard. If you want to make New Brunswick High School better, you must listen to the students. At the end of the day, it is great for living the future of the city. It's not going to be easy to break these barriers, but I have faith that one day the beauty of our school and community will shine. We will not be known as, we will be known as more than just five minutes. Thank you.